Here are 101 facts about Honda, brought to you by Fart Can Acne Cream. Your face doesn't need to be as bad as your paint job. Number 1. The name Honda comes from its founder's surname, Soichiro Honda, which translates to the original rice paddy in Japanese. Number 2. The most produced vehicle in the world is the Toyota Corolla, right? Actually, no. The Corolla is the most produced car in the world, but the most produced vehicle is the Honda Super Cup, which has been in production since 1958 and has sold well over 100 million units. Number 3. The only purpose of the center exhaust on the Civic Type R is to produce loud, giggle-inducing noises at low speeds because Honda didn't want to pump fake exhaust notes through the speakers. Well done, Honda. Number 4. The common practice for producing cars is to create a good relationship between the marketing team and the design team to ensure the marketability of the newly designed car. But for the production of the S2000, Honda decided to take the exact opposite approach, basically telling the marketing team to take a hike and let the engineers have their fun, which they definitely did. The engineers even fine-tuned the car by driving it on mountain roads and taking turns to see who can break the fun little roadster. Honda did this because they wanted a car that was, and I quote, more Honda, which is exactly what they got. Number 5. In 2013, Honda issued what has to be the stupidest recall in history. How stupid, you may ask? Well, they recalled 20,000 Odysseys because the badges were placed on the wrong side of the tailgate. Honda apparently did this because they wanted to prevent those cars from unfairly depreciating. Yeah, because that was the only issue with that model year. Number 6. Honda's ignition beep is Morse code for the letter H. Number 7. The 1964 Honda S600 was the first Japanese car to be sold in red, because prior to that, red and white cars were prohibited in Japan so they wouldn't be confused for emergency response vehicles, which prompted Soichiro Honda to protest these laws. And after a long, arduous process, Soichiro managed to convince the government to take a chill pill, all because he really wanted to sell his sporty new car in red. Number 8. The Honda Civic is the third most stolen vehicle in the US, closely followed by the Accord in 4th place and the CRV in 10th place. Number 9. Honda became the sole engine supplier for the IndyCar series in 2006, and coincidentally, that year's Indy 500 was the first in recorded history to not feature a single engine problem. By the way, the Indy 500 had been around for 95 years at that time. Number 10. Honda has been the largest motorcycle company in the world since 1959, with over 400 million units sold thus far, and they currently sell 10 million units annually, which is more than the next three closest global competitors combined, which isn't surprising since Honda started as a motorcycle company. Number 11. That's the Honda Vats. And no, that wasn't a mistake. That's called Vats. Like, that's its actual name. And as you can see, that wasn't a cool car. It was an underpowered, boring K-car that no one asked for. And Honda's attempt at creating another rush hour scene with Vats's name really didn't help its case. That's why Vats failed so hard that Honda discontinued Vats in just four years, which made Vats a disappointment. How can Germans speak like this? Number 12. In 1991, most countries banned the sale of yellow CRXs because it turns out that Honda used radioactive material in their Y49 paint colors, also known as Barbados Yellow. Number 13. In 1989, Honda unveiled the Sports Experimental at the Chicago Motor Show, now known as the Honda NSX. After their show, Honda president Tadashi Kume got into the NSX and revved the shit out of it while Ford was in the middle of their presentation one booth over which really pissed Ford off, but there was nothing they could do about it. Fast forward to 2016, Ford was driving their newly announced Ford GT down the Detroit Motor Show when they happened to drive past Acura presenting their brand new NSX, which is when Ford decided to rev bomb Acura in the middle of their presentation, letting them know that revenge is a dish best served cold. A 27-year-old dish to be exact. Number 14. Acura has an anime series called Type S. You can watch Season 1 and 2 on YouTube or on Acura's official website. Number 15. In the late 70s, a disabled woman by the name of Noriko Tsuji sent a letter to Honda, where she asked them if there was a way for her to drive a car, because both of her hands were disabled and her dream was to drive her mother around. This simple letter struck a chord with Takeo Matsumoto, Honda's public relations manager, and he made it his mission for Noriko's dream to come true by taking it up the corporate ladder, 
and after a couple of years of trying, Honda gave Takeo the resources to adapt the German Fraun system to Noriko's needs in 1982. After consulting with her doctors, Honda was able to perfectly tailor a Civic to Noriko's needs. They also gave her private driving lessons, but she still couldn't legally drive. So Honda took Noriko and her Civic to Japan's parliament to plead their case and change the laws, which they did, allowing Noriko's dream of driving her mother around to come true. But Honda didn't stop there. They also gifted her the Civic which she learned how to drive on and registered it under her name with the number plate 1982. Number 16. The red Honda emblem is reserved for their high-performance line of cars, also known as Type R. Number 17. Honda's current slogan is the power of dreams. But before people made stuff like this, their slogan was, you meet the nicest people on a Honda, which is very wholesome. Number 18. The US division of Formula 4 currently uses a slightly tuned version of the engine used in the second generation Civic Type R. Number 19. Honda invented the CVCC system in 1972, which used a small chamber to pre-ignite the air-fuel mixture before the combustion cycle. In simpler terms, it allowed their engines to use less fuel and produce smaller amounts of harmful gases, eliminating the need for catalytic converters. This was such a big deal back then that Ford and Chrysler immediately struck a deal with Honda to use this technology, but GM refused to use this system. In fact, GM's CEO said, and I quote, this might work on some little toy motorcycle engine, but I see no use for it on one of our GM car engines. Upon hearing his engines being called little toys, Soichiro Honda bought a 5.7-liter 1973 Chevy Impala to be shipped back to Japan, where his engineers began to outfit the big American V8 with his little toy technology. After the engine was successfully updated, the car was shipped back to the US and sent to the EPA's labs, where the CVCC-equipped Impala became clean enough to pass the regulations without a catalytic converter. And at that moment, everyone around the world heard the echoes of Soichiro's big, voluptuous middle finger to GM. Number 20. The Honda Civic Type R holds the Nürburgring world record for the fastest front-wheel drive car with a time of 7 minutes and 44 seconds. Number 21. If you ever decide to touch grass and miraculously manage to get a woman to marry you, you can immediately make her second-guess her decision by giving her a Honda wedding ring, which is made from the same material that catalytic converters are made of. Number 22. From 1997 to 1998, the US spec Integra Type R only had one option, which was air conditioning. And yes, that includes color options as well, since it only came in white. Number 23. The 1987 Honda Prelude was the first production vehicle to feature four-wheel steering. Number 24. In the late 60s and early 70s, customers started complaining about their Hondas rusting pretty badly in Michigan due to their extensive use of road salt. And since Honda was pretty new in America, they needed to take immediate action to build trust, which is why they hired a representative to visit their dealerships and set up free inspection days. The representative was also instructed to buy back the rusted cars from their owners at retail price to be taken off the road and crushed immediately. Over the course of a couple of months, Honda successfully bought and destroyed thousands of rusty Hondas. The most interesting part about this was the fact that the owners weren't required to buy another Honda. They were given the full amount in cash with no strings attached, which was a genius PR move by Honda. Number 25. In 2006, Honda started offering airbags on their Goldwing motorcycles, and to this day, the Goldwing remains to be the first and only motorcycle to come with an airbag. Number 26. Honda is a major exporter of soybeans. And I'm not kidding when I say major. In 2012 alone, Honda exported 1 million bushels from Ohio to Japan, which means you can call your Honda-loving friend a soy boy in good conscience. Number 27. The rocket-inspired Honda CRZ was the first ever manual hybrid vehicle. Number 28. Honda hired Ayrton Senna to help them fine-tune the NSX before it went into production, and after taking a lap in Honda's pride and joy, Senna told them to stiffen up the suspension and the chassis because it was as loose as a grandma's armpit. Okay, I may have paraphrased what he said, but Honda did listen to Senna's advice, and they redesigned the suspension and the body to make the NSX the JDM legend that it is today. Number 29. Honda was the first Japanese company to create a luxury counterpart in 1989, which they called Acura, and it means done with precision. Number 30. 
Honda has their own airport, which is run by Honda Airlines and has quite a few Honda jets. Number 31. Before building motorcycles, Soichiro Honda applied for an engineering job at Toyota, but he was turned down. So naturally, he built his own company that manufactured piston rings, and ironically, Toyota was his biggest customer, making him really, really rich. But not long after, one of Soichiro's factories was badly damaged in an earthquake, with the other one being bombed to pieces during World War II. Fed up and exhausted, Soichiro managed to salvage enough of the company for Toyota to buy it for 150,000 yen, which is the equivalent of $1.5 billion in today's money. Flushed with cash, Soichiro Honda did what any smart businessman would do. He bought a massive tank of alcohol to start his moonshining business. God, I love this guy. Number 32. The Honda SMX had foldable front and rear seats, which meant you could turn the car into a giant bed for recreational purposes. And even though Honda hasn't publicly confirmed the reason behind this feature, they have dropped quite a few hints. For example, if you rotate the M counterclockwise, it becomes an E. Honda also said that this car was built to cater for the needs of the restless in tight urban areas. Who knew Honda would be the ultimate wingman? Number 33. When Gordon Murray, the designer of the McLaren F1, was researching cars, he came across the Honda NSX, and he was so blown away by the little Japanese supercar that he ditched the Ferraris and Porsches he had bought for his project to solely focus on the NSX because of its incredibly well-balanced handling and ride quality. He even asked Honda to create a V12 engine for McLaren, but Honda declined because of the production challenges. Number 34. The first automobile that Honda made was the 1963 T360 mini truck, and a few months later, Honda made the S500, which was their first sports car, although it wasn't particularly fast since it only had a 0.5-liter four-cylinder engine making 44 horsepower. Number 35. Honda has been giving away free gas every Thanksgiving for the past decade. Number 36. The Honda CRV came equipped with a picnic table from 1997 to 2006. But that's not the only prop Honda has placed in their cars. No, sir. They've sold cars with foldable scooters, power showers, dog pouches, and vacuums. Number 37. This is Ludacris, who you probably know for being a spitter. But what most people don't know is that he still owns his first car, which is a 1993 Acura Legend. It wasn't some garage queen either. He still regularly drove it even after his rise to fame. But sadly, he got into a bad wreck in 2015 which totaled the car. So Acura offered to fix and fully restore the Acura Legend, now known as the Ludacris Legend. After receiving his new and improved 1993 Legend, Luda said that he will drive the car till the wheels fall off. And I have a feeling that he means it. Number 38. Honda is the first Japanese auto company to enter and win Formula One. Honda is also the first Japanese motorcycle company to enter and win the Isle of Man. Number 39. In the late 80s, Japanese automakers participated in what has now been called the Gentleman's Agreement, which prevented automakers from making cars that can go over 180 kilometers an hour with a 276 horsepower limit, excluding special edition cars that were built for homologation. But since this agreement wasn't a legally binding contract, Japanese automakers slowly started to break the rules by lying about their numbers. And in 2004, Honda decided to become the first Japanese automaker to officially break this pinky swear with their V6 Legend, which made 300 horsepower. Honda's decision later inspired the rest of the Japanese automakers to grow some balls, effectively ending the gentleman's agreement. Number 40. The 1981 Honda Accord was the first production vehicle to feature a navigation system. Number 41. Soichiro Honda refused to make his son the heir of Honda Motors, which inspired Hirotoshi Honda to branch out and create the tuning company Mugen Motorsports in 1973. Number 42. The 1990 Honda Prelude was known as the date car because it was cheap and sporty, which apparently made it very popular with bachelors, and this reputation definitely hurt the Prelude when it came to sales. Number 43. In the early 80s, Honda's development team decided to experiment with the mid-engine design, so they took a Honda City and moved the engine to the middle to see if it would improve the driving experience. Spoiler alert, it really did, and it left the team with a new appreciation for the mid-engine setup, which really inspired the design of the NSX, basically making the Honda City the NSX's granddaddy. Number 44. The Prelude name was originally trademarked by Toyota, but Honda asked nicely enough that it rizzed Toyota into handing it over for free. Number 45. 
Honda has a top secret museum in Torrance, California, which is located in a building with blacked out windows on Van Ness Avenue, and it contains 75 of Honda's most influential cars and motorcycles. Number 46. In 2018, Honda UK needed a fun little pickup to transport packages on factory grounds, so a couple of engineers teamed up after hours and made one out of a Civic Type R. They even planned to take it on the Nürburgring to make this thing the fastest front-wheel drive pickup truck, but for some reason, they never followed through. Number 47. The third-generation Integra originally came with quad headlights, but they were so unpopular with the Japanese buyers that Honda decided to build the facelift version with one-piece headlights two years later. Number 48. The Honda Civic has a cool little Easter egg hidden under the rubber mat of its center console. Number 49. Honda secretly built CVT gearboxes for their mountain bikes in the early 2000s. And when I say secretly, I mean CIA-level secrecy, because Honda didn't allow the gearboxes to be stored with the actual bikes. In fact, only a couple of Honda engineers were allowed to work on the gearboxes, and they were instructed to take them off and hide them in their hotel rooms between competition. After a successful season, Honda decided to disband their racing team and all of the prototypes were destroyed. Number 50. The 1964 Honda S600 is still the highest revving four-cylinder in the world, and it revs to 9,500 RPM. Number 51. The Honda Ridgeline has one of the most detailed pages on Wikipedia, and it's all thanks to a Ridgeline owner by the username of McChisel, who came across a forum of Ridgeline owners that complained about false information on Wikipedia. And since McChisel worked for the Department of Defense, he knew how to properly cite and gather information. So he made it his mission to make the Ridgeline's wiki page the nerdiest page anyone could have asked for. In fact, he had to dumb down some of the information because it was way too detailed. Number 52. Newer Hondas will disable their side curtain airbags if anyone leans on their doors. Number 53. On January 1, 2022, Hondas all around the world experienced a bug that caused their infotainment systems to permanently roll back to January 1st of 2002. Because apparently, Honda didn't think humanity would get this far, and they failed to code their systems to the possibility of reaching 2022. Number 54. The Honda S2000 is not a front-engine car, and it's not a mid-engine car either, because the engine is behind the front axle and in front of the cabin, making it a front-mid-engine car. Number 55. Soichiro Honda raced cars until he got into a bad crash at 30, which ended his racing career, but that didn't stop him from personally test-driving Hondas until he was 65. Number 56. VTEC was first introduced on the 1983 CBR400, and at that time it was called Hyper VTEC. Honda later decided to use that technology on their cars in 1989, starting with the Integra XSI. Number 57. In 2011, Honda invited Joe Lo Cicero to celebrate him reaching 1 million miles on his 1997 Honda Accord, which was still on its original engine and transmission. But cheeky little Honda had a surprise planned for him, which was a fully loaded brand new Honda Accord. Number 58. The NSX's glass cockpit was inspired by an F-16 fighter jet. The NSX was also the first production car to have an all-aluminum monocoque body. Number 59. For the Ridgeline, Honda incorporated small vortex generators on top of the mirrors to reduce cabin noise. Thanks, McChisel. Number 60. The Acura Integra's intake ports were hand-polished from factory. Number 61. Have you ever wondered what would happen if you mixed a Prelude with an Accord? Well, you would get the Accord SIR, which we didn't get in the US because we weren't worthy of having a cool Japanese wagon. But do you know what the funny thing is? The SIR was built in Ohio. They built them here and sent them to Japan, and now we have to wait another two years to import them back. Number 62. Believe it or not, the second-gen NSX was hand-built, which is unheard of at its $180,000 starting price. Number 63. Honda is the largest engine manufacturer in the world, and they make over 14 million engines a year. Number 64. In 2017, 29-year-old Max Lenman was tasked with selling his girlfriend's 1996 Honda Accord, affectionately named Greeny. But instead of posting it on eBay or Facebook Marketplace like a normal human being, Max decided to use his filmmaking skills to make a full-on professional ad with voiceover, drone shots, and an entire film crew. 
The video instantly went viral, racking up millions of views in the matter of weeks, but Max still had a job to finish. So he auctioned off Greenie on eBay with a starting price of $499, and for some reason, the 140,000 mile Accord managed to secure a winning bid of $150,000, although that bid turned out to be fake. And after hearing this, CarMax decided to step up, and they offered $20,000 for Greenie along with the cat, the sweatshirt, and the coffee pot, even though the ad specifically said cat and coffee pot not included. After some hard negotiations, CarMax ended up purchasing Greenie with their original offer. Max did also win the Webby Award for the best viral video in 2018. Number 65. The Honda Del Sol literally translates to the Honda of the Sun because it's a convertible. Number 66. Honda built the Suzuka Circuit in 1962. Number 67. In 1964, the Beach Boys made a song called Little Honda, which perfectly embodied the Honda motorbike lifestyle. A couple of months later, the Hondels, which was a surf rock band inspired by Honda motorcycles, made a cover of that song, and that cover managed to reach number 9 on the US charts. It's actually a good song. Number 68. In 1928, Ford wanted to break the Japanese land speed record, so they hired Soichiro Honda who managed to swap a V8 aircraft engine into the Ford Model A, which gave it a top speed of 75 miles per hour, successfully breaking the Japanese speed record of that time. Number 69. The Honda Fit's gas tank is located under the driver's seat with the fuel pump being under the center console. Remember this if your seat starts to warm up even though you don't have heated seats. Number 70. In 2020, Honda made moto racing history by securing their 800th Grand Prix victory. Number 71. The Honda Insight was the most aerodynamic car in history at the time of its production. Number 72. The now very popular Honda Monkey was originally built for an amusement park in Japan back in 1961, but they received so many requests that Honda decided to put it in production in 1964. Number 73. This is the Honda Element, and it has a cult-like following thanks to its practicality and quirky personality. Some might even describe it as fire. In fact, it was so fire that Honda had to settle a class action lawsuit in 2010 due to their fire-prone engines. This settlement included the CRV as well. Number 74. The Honda Accord is the most awarded car in car and driver's history. It has been awarded on their annual 10 best list 38 times, including the last 26 years in a row. Number 75. In 2007, Tim came across a beat-up Honda N600 parked outside of a flea market, which he ended up buying as a parts car because he restored them for a living. Once he took the car home, he took off the hubcaps and parked the car outside just in case he needed more parts, and three years later as he was looking for parts, he caught a glimpse of the VIN number, and his eyes lit up. You see, the Honda N600 was the first car that Honda imported to the US back in 1969, and this particular car was the very first one. So Tim contacted Honda to let them know what he had found. Completely astonished by Tim's discovery, Honda decided to pay him to fully restore the N600, and it's currently on display at their museum. Number 76. This is the Honda Vamos, which is a mid-engine convertible cab-over pickup truck with no doors. I know, what the f right? Well wait, there's more. The Vamos is not just a pickup truck, it's a K-truck. Honda built this thing in 1970 as a response to the British Mini Moak, but unlike the Mini Moak, the Vamos only sold 2,500 units before its discontinuation in 1973. Number 77. For some reason, Honda decided to give the Del Sol an automatic hardtop in some markets, which means they have very cool power trunks. Number 78. Honda was fined $70 million in 2015 because they failed to report 1,700 death and injury claims surrounding Takata airbags. Please check your airbags, it could save your life. Number 79. The rear window wipers on the Honda Pilot will automatically activate if you go in reverse while it's raining. Number 80. Before the name Acura was decided on, Honda launched the Legend and Integra under the Channel 2 name, which was Honda's internal code for Acura. Only two vehicles were made under the Channel 2 name brand, and they didn't even feature Acura's logo. Number 81. The Passport was Honda's first full-size SUV. It was also a rebadged Suzuki Rodeo. Number 82. In 2000, Honda gave birth to Osimo, which was built to assist people with walking. But surprisingly, he ended up becoming a massive celebrity in Japan. He would get invited to trade shows, charity events, and he even performed on stage for Disney. Osimo quickly became a pop culture icon that everyone loved. People even gathered around to cheer him on as he learned how to run. 
This 4'3 bundle of wires also inspired Baymax from Big Hero 6, and on Osimo's 18th birthday, Honda gifted him with his last ever update. Osimo is now retired, and he hangs out at the National Museum of Emerging Science and Innovation in Japan. Number 83. The Honda E has side view cameras instead of mirrors. Number 84. In 1982, the Honda Accord became the first ever foreign vehicle to be produced in the US, and in 1989, it was the first foreign vehicle to become a bestseller in the US. Number 85. Soichiro Honda got out of being drafted because he was colorblind. He didn't receive any formal education either. Number 86. In 2020, Laith Abdulhad's brand new Accord was stolen from his driveway in Ontario. Upon realizing the disappearance of his car, he contacted York Regional Police, who in turn contacted Honda to get a hold of the car's GPS data. But Honda refused to give them the location even though they confirmed they knew where the car was, because Laith wasn't subscribed to Honda Link, which is their connected car service. After pleading with Honda's call center, the police was told to get a warrant, so Laith just decided to pay the $125 subscription fee. But by the time the subscription went through, the vehicle's signal was lost. Number 87. The roof scoop on the Honda NSX R GT was entirely cosmetic, serving only to homologate the part for the racing version of the car. Number 88. Before Mercedes took over, AMG built this thing in the late 80s, which was called the Balad AMG, and it was only sold in South Africa. This car came to life because Mercedes-Benz of South Africa wanted a more affordable version of the 190 in their showrooms, and at the same time, Honda was trying to break into the South African market, making this a match made in heaven. But the car failed so miserably that neither party wanted to talk about it. We also don't know how much power it made or how fast it was. The only thing we know for sure is that it used a tuned version of Honda's B18 engine paired with a set of Eibach lowering springs, but please educate us in the comments if you know more. Number 89. The failed EV Plus was the first electric car to use a nickel battery, which is what most electric vehicles use nowadays. Number 90. In 2015, Honda set a world record for fuel efficiency after two members of Honda's European Research and Development team drove a 1.6-liter Civic Tour over 8,000 miles across Europe with an average fuel consumption of 100 miles per gallon. This trip took them 25 days, and it was the equivalent of driving from the UK to Australia. What's even more impressive is the fact that they only refueled nine times, but we don't have any metrics on the amount of pee jugs used. Number 91. Honda found itself in a very rough spot following the death of Soichiro Honda in 1991, and they were at risk of a very hostile takeover from Mitsubishi, who were flushed with cash thanks to the success of the Pajero and their other SUVs. But before rolling over, Honda decided to throw a last-minute Hail Mary, and they pulled out of Formula One for the 1993 season to solely focus on the CRV and Odyssey. They also started to pull away from the coupes and performance sedans, which were very popular with the engineers but not with the public. This controversial decision saved the company from bankruptcy, which means Honda wouldn't exist today without the CRV. Number 92. The 1989 Pacific Coast 800 was Honda's attempt at breaching the gap between cars and motorcycles by building a motorcycle like a car. How did they do that? Well, they covered the whole body in plastics, which was unheard of in the 1980s. They also put rubber motor mounts on it with a car-like rear trunk and gauge cluster. But the PC800's impressively well-thought-out design didn't translate to sales. In fact, Honda struggled to sell the PC800 so much that they halted production from 1991 to 1994 because they needed to empty out their unsold inventory. And when production was resumed in 1995, Honda barely managed to sell a thousand units, which led to the PC800's discontinuation in 1998. Number 93. The Honda FCX was the world's first zero-emission fuel cell vehicle. Number 94. The largest recorded parade of Honda cars was achieved by Meet the Beat in Japan which consisted of 569 Honda Beats, and the largest parade of Honda bikes was achieved by Nesha Racing in Peru, with over 1,100 Honda bikes in attendance. Number 95. As a way to show off the quirky, fun nature of the Beat, Honda wrapped its seats in zebra print, which wasn't optional. This is the only color these seats came in. The Honda Beat was also the last car that Soichiro Honda approved before his death. Number 96. To celebrate their 75th birthday, Honda announced that they're bringing back the Prelude, and it's scheduled to go into production in 2026. Number 97. The Acura TL was the first car to come with Bluetooth as standard. 
Number 98. When Honda recruits graduates, they specifically look out for car-loving freaks to preserve the spirit of their cars. Number 99. Acura put the second-gen NSX through the monsoon test, which produced a downpour that was the equivalent of twice the highest ever recorded hurricane rainfall. Number 100. In the early 2000s, Honda made a hybrid version of the Accord which gave you four more miles per gallon for just $10,000. As you could imagine, pretty much no one bought it. Number 101. Please, for the love of God, don't race a Honda with a laptop. Yes, the meme is real. Those drivers have spent all their money to win races and they have nothing to lose. They already don't own anything else. Thank you for watching, and make sure you subscribe so you can vote for which brand comes next.